How's it going everyone? My name is Tyler and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial for you guys. Over the last few months I've had the privilege to travel to a few different countries. I went to Thailand, I went to Germany, and I just got back from a trip from Cuba. Uh, a lot of people have asked me about my transitions and how to do them, so I thought would, uh, now would be a good time to do a couple tutorials. So today we're going to be doing a tutorial on this transition right here. So yeah, that transition is called a masking transition. I like to use that when uh, I'm using fast paced movements or to keep my videos moving smoothly throughout the whole thing. Uh, it's better than seeing like a video that's just cut, cut, cut. It's kind of dry and lose the viewer's attention. But if you have something ma like seamlessly moving through the video and something always moving, uh, it makes it better to watch and more pleasing to watch for my personal preference. But yeah, so I'll show you a few different examples. The first one I showed you was someone passing through the scene or an object passing through the scene and it masks it out and it all of a sudden you're in a different location or a different scene. That's the first one. The second one that was there was uh, me opening a door and it's opening up to this beautiful lake of a drone shot in Thailand. So let's jump into Premiere and I'll show you guys how to do these two effects. We're in Premiere Pro here and as you can see, this is the clip we'll be working with. The first one, it's the Buddha and then it transitions into a temple. So you can see, again, right into the temple. So first I'll reset all the settings and I'll show you how to do this. So let's delete that. All right, so you wanna grab your first clip, which is going to be the Buddha. Have a click on there and what you wanna do is you wanna get a clip that is running all the way through. So as you can see, this clip ran all the way through the pillar. You don't wanna do something that's gonna go halfway because that will not look as good when you start masking. Uh, it's better to use a clip that is going fully through an object. So I'm using, I'm using this here, this line on the pillar, as my masking line. So I want that to go all the way through my clip. As you can see, it starts at nothing and it goes all the way through the clip. So I'm gonna cut my video to where it ends. So it ends about there, right there. That's where it ends. So I'll cut that back and that's on the top. So I have my first clip on the top. What do you wanna do next? is go to the start where it starts out. So see here, this is where it starts. You go to the next clip and there's a little space there. So that is where you wanna line up your next clip. So I have my next clip, which is this temple here. I will line it up one frame before it shows. So what I'll do is I go back here. I already did this. So you wanna get your second clip. You wanna drag it in line with that. So there you go, that's set up. Next you wanna click your first clip again and you wanna go down to opacity in the effect controls and you wanna click this little free draw uh, gadget here. So first go over to where it shows. There you go. You got a little bit of space there. Click this free gadget there on the masking. That's a mask pen. Click that and start drawing. So click there. Let's go there and then make a square, I guess, because this is pretty easy. It's a pillar, so it's pretty basic. So click that, connect it. As you can see, it's inverted, which you don't want. You want the other one to show first. So what you go down to is invert, click invert, and there you go. Now you have the temple back and the second clip behind it. Next, you want to click all these, these keyframes here to mask it and to create a path. So you are going to click all of these and that's going to create a path. Obviously, that's going to go away. So you want to make sure you go back and click on this mask button again for that to pop up. You can also turn the feather up, which I like to do. I usually turn it up to about Depending on the scene, I'll turn this up to like 30, let's go 35 or 36. What you want to do is you want to do this technique throughout the so throughout each frame that is passing through the scene. I usually like to make it a bit smaller so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, so first, let's do the first one. This one, as you can see, there's nothing in it. So let's just move that all the way out for the first cut because this hasn't passed the first mark yet. So let's keep it all the way out. We'll go to the next scene down here at the bottom, step forward one frame, and this is where you start your drawing. So you can move this back over. As you can see, that next clip is slowly starting to appear in the frame. There you go, like that. And then you wanna just hit the next frame and keep doing the same technique through each frame until you get outside of the pillar. So there we go. If you wanna create more points, just click on anywhere in the line and click and drag, and it will create a point, as well as curves. You can create curves to go around certain angles. So yeah, you just keep doing this step 
throughout this video. As you can see, I'm following, I'm following this line on the pillar as my mask line. I mean, this isn't the most accurate, but I'm doing it quickly just to show you guys. So keep going, keep following that line, keep going until you are completely out of the frame. So keep going one frame over, one frame over, keep hitting this one frame. You don't want to do it, you want to do one frame at a time because that will be what creates the mask. So there we go. Oh, let's draw this out. This is kind of sneaking in. You don't want any of this in the frame because that will cut it out. So you want to make sure the outskirts are all out of the frame area. Next, and there you go. Now, so that is the finish. So that is the end of the clip because that's where it ends. So now, uh, let's put this back to fit like a normal percentage. And where am I here? There we go. So now we're back. And what you can see here is you still have that black mark on there because it's masked out the whole clip. So what you want to go is back into mask. And you want to just drag that out of there. So that's good. Oh, I got this in here still. So now when you play back the video, you'll get this transition. Oh, a little bit of black in there. So make sure you get uh, make sure you get that masking out of there at the start, because you can see as anything you put in there, that will mask it out. So just get that. Make sure that's out of the clip before it starts the second clip. So yeah, click down here and let's watch this back. Bam, just like that. Super easy and really seamless. As you can see, it's transitioning right. It also helps if you're going right and the next clip is also moving right. So it makes it look a lot more smooth and normal and uh, seamless. So yeah, that's the first one. As you can see, this is the second clip uh, that I'll be showing you guys. Uh, what it is, is me at a bungalow door reaching for the handle and pushing the door open. So this is the clip that you see. And it opens up into the lake. And I added some sound effects in there just to make it sound like you're in the jungle or whatever. So yeah, this is what the clip looks like without the lake in the back. So let's turn that off as you can see. So this is what the clip looks like without it. Open it and it's masked out. So you can see it's the black if it wasn't masked out, you would see an inside of my bungalow is what you would see. But again, like I said, see how the clip goes all the way through the scene. It helps create a better masking. So if you click this here to see it again, there it is. You can see the lake in the background. So what it is, boom, all the way through until the door disappears. And then you're in the next clip. So yeah, I won't go through the whole thing uh, of masking, but I'll show you what I did. So what it is, the same thing as you would on the other one. Click the first clip and layer the other one underneath. So as you can see, the door starts opening right here. So this is where I want to start my mask. So I'll put my second clip right underneath it where it starts, right about there. As you can see, it's starting to open up. And if we click my mask path here, as you can see, I, this is what I did. I started to mask it. So started my mask here with a little sliver and I went frame by frame slowly as the same thing as before, keyframing each math mask path, keyframe, 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 and keep going and keep going, keep going. As you can see, we'll open this up a bit bigger so you can see a bit better. I keyframed out each, each location as each frame as the door opens. So next frame, I move the frames accordingly to the door opening. And keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And see, I kept going until the door was completely out of frame. So yeah, it's easy as that. Uh, sometimes it takes a little bit to get used to. Uh, sometimes the framing and keyframing is a bit different and a bit harder, depending um, the angles that you're working around. Like this one, there was a little handle, so I had to, so you can see I made, uh, I made a couple different keyframes just to go around the handle. It's rough, but um, you can do it quick, fast. I mean, the more time you spend on it, the better it will look. But yeah, so that is the clip, just like that. And it creates a, a better entrance to the scene instead of it just all of a sudden cutting from, I don't know, say this clip, cutting from this clip all the way, just cutting. It cuts into this clip here, and then it opens up into the ocean, which is perfect, because then we got this shot of on the lake uh, and yeah it just makes it smooth and seamless
So yeah, that is the masking transition. Those are just a couple of ways you can do it. The one of an uh, object passing through the scene as well as me opening the door into another scene. You can get pretty creative with it. There's different techniques and ways you can do it. Just mess around with it and yeah, see what happens. It just makes your videos more smooth and more seamless when you're editing. If you'd like to see more videos in the future, subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Facebook for more videos and more photos in the future. See you later. Oh, 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 o